adjustment clips in DaVinci Resolve are amazing. They are super useful, but right now, at least, they have one major flaw. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, a quick covering of what adjustment clips are, then their current uh, issue, maybe a bug, and then how uh, I'm going to solve that issue for, for all of you with a, a free download. So stick around. If you don't know, on the edit page of Resolve, uh, in the effects library under effects, you have an adjustment clip. You can drag that to your timeline where it lives on its own clip. And adjustment clips, super cool. You can see if I scrub, uh, when this adjustment clip starts, nothing really happens. But if I go to that adjustment clip and do something as simple as zooming in, then when I go back to before the adjustment clip, it will be zoomed out. When I get to the adjustment clip, it will zoom in, and then at the end, it will go back out. Anything you do to the adjustment clip will be done to everything beneath the adjustment clip. Even if you have multiple different clips that are each you know, scaled and moved around, uh, the adjustment clip looks at the entire scene beneath it and uh, does whatever changes you've done to it or whatever effects you've applied to it. For instance, we have all these built-in fusion effects and I can uh, first reset that zoom on the adjustment clip, but then I can stack a few of these. I'll stack the binoculars, I'll stack the glitch, I'll stack the drone overlay, and hey, DSLR video. Uh, <laughs> Shout out Caleb Pike. Uh, we also tossed on the DSLR filter on there as well. And now this is a wild scene, but you'll see that it only kicks in when the adjustment clip starts. Now, if I try to just play through this video clip off my normal clip, and then boom, the clip starts, and I'm down to like, under 10 frames a second. Now for some of you, there might be bells going off in your head saying, ah, render cache. Say if I were to take all of these individual effects and apply them right to my source clip, I would be able to use uh, the Resolve render cache to, you know, sort of sort of pre-render that clip, but create a sort of temporary video so I could have smooth playback with all those effects on it. In fact, let's do that with just a few. I'll take this little snip at the beginning. If I toss on binoculars, glitch, drone overlay. Uh, then important to note uh, in this, I already have a uh, render cache set to smart under playback uh, render cache. Uh, in new projects, this might be set to none, so make sure this is smart. And then if I right click on that source clip, I can come to render cache fusion effect filter. I see all of the effect filters there. I believe you only need to select um, the last one in the chain because they are built on top of each other. Let's try it out. If I just click drone overlay, then I'll get this red cache bar that will slowly turn blue. And then now, boom, we have that. It has a little jitter right when it starts, which I believe should be more normal. Let me just stretch this out. So now it's that whole clip. So it'll be playing through, it'll cache as it goes uh, by the way. But once that is done, I'll click play, and then we'll have 30 frames per second with all of those filters stacked on top. Now, let's go back to this adjustment clip. I have the clip, the adjustment clip, and hey, uh, we are getting rough playback. If I right click on this adjustment clip, we have that render cache fusion effect filter, so I could select that same last option, but we don't get that render bar. And even if I let it play through with that enabled, you know, we get no notification that the render cache is processing. It'll just slowly work its way through frame by frame. And even if that gets all the way through, if we go back and try to play it, we'll get the same choppy feedback. As it is right now, I, I am hopeful this is a bug, but as it is right now, uh, there is no way that I've found uh, to force a render cache on an adjustment clip. Even if your computer is totally capable of caching those effects and storing them in memory and all of that, uh, you can't do that with an adjustment clip. So especially in complex scenes, uh, if you want to you know, apply these effects to multiple clips or uh, lots of people use adjustment clips for like transitions, you won't have a way to actually preview that in full speed on your timeline before you render it out. Unless you just get rid of this, come over to Generators, Sterling Supply Company, and grab the new adjustment clip, SSC. Drag that to the timeline, it lives on its own track. Uh, just like an adjustment clip. And you might notice as soon as I drag that to the timeline, we have this red cache bar. Um, by default, it'll like, you know play real time, not much is going on. But if we go through that same little process, effects, we'll grab binoculars, glitch, drone overlay, and DSLR. Then now, if I play and force that to cache, that red bar will turn blue. Um, I didn't even have to go in and select that individual effect filter. It, it recognizes it and it is caching it by default. We'll let that do its thing and go back, start playing. Boom, we maintain a solid 30 frames per second. I did it. <laughs> but how did I do it? 
very easily. Uh, if you open this up in the Fusion page, you will see that inside is just a single media in node. And if you didn't know this about Fusion, it's super useful. They added this a few versions ago. But if I create a media in node and preview that, by default, it's erroring out because it's not linked to any media, but in the media source, I can change this to background. This is sort of like a built-in adjustment clip that you can reference in Fusion. This background looks at anything on the timeline beneath where this Fusion effect is on the edit page. It's super useful for lots of stuff in Fusion. If you want like a lower third that somehow like blurs the background or even references it for colors for other stuff like that, super, super valuable. But by itself, it's sort of just like an adjustment clip. So I just made a single node that does that sends it back to the edit page, and then now on the edit page, it doesn't think of this as an adjustment clip, it thinks of it as a fusion effect. So it caches it automatically, and it is fully capable of caching any uh, change on the timeline as well. You might uh, be a little worried as I was, okay, this is referencing the clip beneath it. What if I shift this clip beneath it? then hey, good news, it will wipe that cache. So you won't get any like weird playback issues, but you will have to recache this if anything beneath this effect slides in time, which you would want it to do. If it kept that cache, then things would be jumping around in time. That would be no good, but it knows when things are changed, it will recache. Of course, I'm optimistic that if this is a proper bug, I believe it probably is, um, that we will get a normal full caching on adjustment clips. But for now, um, this will work the same you'll just be able to cache it for all your cool effects. Uh, so download link in the description, that'll take you to uh, my website where you know I have dozens of other uh, free Resolve presets. I've got some paid products there as well. Um, I have an update to one of those paid products coming very soon. Uh, maybe my next video, we'll see. But if you just wanna grab this new sort of fusion adjustment clip, that's cool too. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.